guys, how's it going? This is Fish with another video blog, and um, today I'm just going to be briefly talking about uh, my studio project, Existence Zero. Um, a very, very first EP is about to uh, come out in the next couple of weeks. It's uh, titled Definitions of a Heresy, and uh, I'll briefly go into why it's titled that, but I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick lowdown on what Existence Zero is. Um, basically, a studio project I started up back in the summer of uh, 2010 because I wanted to explore more different uh, creative ideas in terms of like writing different styles of metal and writing about different other things that were kind of stuff that I was passionate about in terms of like lyrics and just like the kind of like sound I wanted out of the band or out of a music project so I started it up back in the summer of 2010 and uh, since then we've gone on to record about five, uh, five or six songs um, there's going to be five featuring on the first EP Definitions of a Heresy and uh, yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick lowdown of what we do and everything. So, um, <coughs> what I do in Existence Zero, well, mainly, first and foremost, I'm the bassist. Uh, I also program the drums, um, do a bit of synth work, just a slight bit, um, and um, do vocals as well. Uh, a couple of the tracks are vocals, so I'm doing most of the vocals on that, and I d handle all the production work as well. In terms of the guitar work that you hear on the EP, that's most of it, 90% of it, 95% of it's been done by a uh, good friend George. He's provided most of the like rhythm and the lead and he's done a great job, fantastic job, amazing guitarist um, and as well as that his his bandmate from uh, the band uh, that they uh, that George is in, playing in circles, uh, my good friend Mark who's on Twitter at Prophesize, uh, he's also provided some guitar work some amazing like acoustic guitar work and uh, some nice little lead riffs and he's also provided most of the synth work. All the synth work you hear on the track Bear Off The Word is him and he did a freaking awesome job so gotta give it up to him. Uh, and they're both in a band called Playing In Circles which you can check out. Um, I've got the Bandcamp link for them. Their first EP is out. They're actually working on their second EP right now which uh, I play bass on a couple of the tracks and I'm helping them out with the production work so make sure you check them out. They're really really cool guys and I could not have done this without them, so like a big thanks to both of them. As well as that, I've also got a good friend Cap as well, who provided some more uh, guitar riffs for me on the, one of the other tracks as well. But um, what I'll be will be doing at some point is doing a complete track by track breakdown. This is just to give you guys a bit of an idea of what Existence Zero is all about and everything. So uh, influences, what influence, what kind of sound music bands influence um, Existence Zero? Well, th I'd say the main bands that influence Existence Zero are. Silosis. If you haven't heard of them and check them out and you dig your metal, definitely go and check them out. One of the I'd say one of the best bands that have come out in the last like three or four years. Um, maybe, you know, they've got two albums out, great albums. Go and check them out. They're absolutely awesome. Uh, I've seen them twice as well. They're a big influence on my sound. As well as them, uh, bands such as Threat Signal as well, um, a Canadian band um, who again inspired like especially the sound of the guitars the guitar tone that kind of thing and uh, um, Scar Symmetry as well uh, more from their first three albums definitely um, as, as well as them uh, Solution Point 45 so a whole different array of like bands have influenced this kind of sound and this kind of style in terms of um, <clears throat> the topics on what it, the uh, EP is all about it's called Definitions of a Heresy now the biggest influence for it was um, War well Warhammer 40,000 actually, and it was uh, the backstory of Warhammer 40,000, the Horus Heresy. Some of you guys might have heard it, some of you guys might not have. For those of you who haven't, I'd suggest go to the Black Library website and uh, check out, they've got a load of Horus Heresy books. I'm not going to go into the story right now because I could be here for about like three years and you know try and explain to you guys the stories, but um, I've been reading a lot of the Horus Heresy novels, uh, and I had been when I started writing this EP, so I wanted to... All the stuff that, all the themes running through that, I, that's what I wanted to take and kind of like, you know, explore that really in a musical form because it's never really been done before. So I thought, you know, why not? So um, you, if you, some of the, a couple of the tracks, you know, you, uh, some people might recognise as having references to like the Warhammer 40,000 world uh, tracks such as Bearer of the Word and uh, Drop Site, which is based on the Drop Site massacre. Um, so some of you guys might know about that, but that's just really like the two. Uh, the main influence on this uh, EP. So yeah, there is um, this EP. We've all the recordings been done now. We've got uh, basically um, just a load of mixing left to do and mastering. Uh, there are rough mixes up on SoundCloud. Um, if you guys checked out the first video blog, um, you would have heard me say that before. But uh, I will put the SoundCloud link up again in the uh, uh, down there in the description section. So um, 
check it out if you want. There's some rough mixes of the tracks. Um, and like I said, the EP is going to be out in a couple of weeks. And it will be out for free. So you guys will be able to download it for free and check it out. It will be on Bandcamp, Reverb Nation, all those kind of sites on uh, SoundCloud. So hopefully you guys can check it out. And hopefully you all enjoy listening to it as much as all of us uh, enjoyed making it. And uh, once it comes out, if you guys want... I'll do a bit more of a breakdown as to how we went through the whole production process and everything, if anyone's intrigued as to how we got the sounds and the ideas we got. But for now, um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a short update on, you know, what Existence Zero does, what it is, and um, yeah, hopefully you guys will, like I said, enjoy listening to it. And for now, that's me out of here. Take care, guys. Peace.